Hello everyone, and welcome to this fourth episode of the Dolphins Franchise Mode. And starting this episode off, looking at our offense, the offense is now above an 80 overall for the first time, and that is through our expert signings as the Kasiki, Hunt, our right tackle, and Tua are the only players in left guard flowers, are the only players that are with us at the beginning, as we did sign free agents AJ Brown, McCole Hardman, and we have drafted most of the rest of the team. Defensively, a lot of players are starting to grow into their own, especially our left outside linebacker Brown, who we took a couple of seasons ago. He now has an X factor. Paired him with Baker, who is continuing to improve. We do have a very good defense that has potential to be great. We just need our offense to be able to keep up with the defense. Special teams, we do have a new kicker in Mooney, as he will be starting now, but that is the only change that we have made. This season, we wanted to commit to getting four wins, as I just feel like that's realistic for us. However, we did just achieve that as we finished 4-12 and after winning the last two games of the season, meaning that we are the worst team in the league. However, that does mean we get the first overall pick, which is definitely not something that we don't want. We then we did finish last in the league. With that first overall pick, we have taken left end Bryce Beckham. He is a 77 overall power rusher out of UCLA. And with him and Brown on the same side, along with our other drafted players, we now have four extremely high quality outside edge rushers. The next player I took is Josh Kramer. The strong safety we drafted last season just wasn't panning out and Kramer is going to be starting for us as we definitely need a new strong safety and we got him. He is number 32 in true value and we drafted him at number 33 so that's a good pick for us. The next player that we drafted in the second round a little bit more controversial one is quarterback Randy Potts. I just feel like we need a solid backup behind Tua and Maybe down the future he could overtake Tua, but that is not my immediate plan, as he is ranked number 48 in true value, and we got him at number 60. The next player is Roman Cooper, a wide receiver. I just feel like eventually A.J. Brown or McCole Hardman might become too expensive and want to leave the team, so I'm just looking at building up that wide receiver core in the future, and he is a deep threat wide receiver out of LSU who is ranked number 63 in true value, and we were able to get him at number 65. The next player we've drafted is Quincy Charlton, who is a run-stopping middle linebacker out of Penn State. He could be a solid backup to Baker and Woodyard. However, who knows, maybe one day he could be starting over them. But we got him at pick number 97, and he's ranked number 62 in true value. The next player I've drafted is Sean Beckham. He is a zone free safety out of Utah. There is no way that we're going to bench Scott, our starting free safety, for him. However, he could just be a good third string safety or just a good plug in guy. The next player that we drafted is Richard Edwards, the left tackle. I've been trying for the last couple of seasons to get a good left tackle as our Cobb, our right tackle, is being forced to play left tackle. He is a power protector. We did somewhat miss on him as he is only a 65 overall and ranked number 186 in true value, and we took him at 156. The next player is Carl Harris. Another middle linebacker who is a run stopper. He is ranked number 91 in true value. We drafted him at 161. I'm looking at transitioning the team to a 3-4 just because of the sheer amount of talent in our outside ends. If we can get a solid linebacking core, middle linebacking core to back up those players, then I feel like we could be set for the future. With our final draft pick, we have taken left end Roman Wheeler. He, again, could just be a good backup for us. He is ranked number 124 in true value, and we took him at 193. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Again, it was a little bit shorter as we are just kind of in a limbo with a team of not really doing much, but then again, not stinking so bad we get amazing players. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to stay tuned as this next episode should be coming out very shortly. And it's see you all later.